The mystery has been solved. Why is Generation 9 the worst designed Pokemon generation? Two words. James Turner. He tweeted out another one of his Pokemon, and it's Golden Go. And everything I see about this Pokemon makes me think it's more stupid. And it also makes me lose faith in humanity and the Pokemon community even more. Because why, how can anyone like this thing? It is a complete abomination of a Pokemon. I love Golden Ghost so much. The Pokemon ever. I don't know what that means. In my team, yes. And like I said, every time I see something about this, it's dumber than I can imagine. And this, this is, this is right on the nose. People are like, yo, this is String Cheese Guy. It's literally String Cheese Guy. I hope this thing has to be destroyed by Game Freak or redesigned because of clear and blatant copyright infringement. He's even got the surfboard snowboard thing and it's the exact same thing. And then you look at it like this. That's a Pokemon now. That is absolutely unacceptable. And this is the guy that made the ice cream Pokemon. And I think the ice cream Pokemon, the rage of it has faded from memory so much because that is a Pokemon. When people saw this, they went, Pokemon's dead. This and Garbodor and maybe like a few other designs, but mostly this caused people to quit Pokemon outright because it is so unacceptable of a design and it also only meant bad things for the future. And I've also covered this worrying trend in the past. 2010 Pokemon Black and White interview shows why it's the worst Pokemon game. This proves why Generation 5 is just anti-Pokemon, which is what makes it terrible, and all of those little things that keep seeping down into modern Pokemon are what is ruin ruining Pokemon, and that just goes into the designs and all of that other stuff. But even then, like, there's also some hits with James Turner. All right, Shadow Lugia for his days when he worked at, uh, the, they made Pokemon Battle Revolution, I'm blanking. Genius Sonority, that it. I also did not like Golette or Golurk, Volibee is meh, Mandibuzz is meh, Phantom and Trevenant are cool, but then he had some Ultra Beast designs, and that's when we get into Naganadel, oh, wrong one, eh, ugh, just all bad, and then like Nagandel and like Naganadel and Poiple, even though they are Ultra Beasts, I'm just like, what is this? This is just ugly, this is just repulsive. These are the designs that we cannot allow to seep into Pokemon, and it makes me wonder like, how much was James Turner behind even the creation of Ultra Beast? He designed quite a lot of them. He did bring back some nostalgia with Gigantamax Pikachu. I guess, you know, the theming behind, uh, sh like, Gengar's Gigantamax is whatever. And, like, Galarian Zigzagoon. He hit it, but also missed. Like, Obstagoon, when I first saw, I was like, yo, this is one of the coolest Pokemon. But the way that it's just, like, holding its arms, like, I feel like James Turner kind of missed the mark on how the Pokemon's represent, because it doesn't do anything but run around like that. So a lot of, like, the coolness factor is kind of lost, and I think Cinescorch is, again, another abomination. Let's make a Tapeworm Pokemon. Yeah, that sounds cool. And then Poltegeist and Sinistee I have nothing against. Also, yo, while Bruxish was designed by a different female designer, Turner finalized the design. So James Turner saw this and went, ship it. The man is killing Pokemon, and we can see that right here. Also, uh, tweet out Tandem Mouse. I, the mouse designs are just weak. There's nothing to them. It's barely Pokemon. I, I don't get it. And then, like, everyone's like, I knew you made this! You know, of course this is a James Turner Pokemon. And everything I see from it just makes me hate it more. You know, I love how goofy is him and my pseudopoda are best buds. No. Like, no, it's just... Everything right here is wrong. I showed this to one of my friends. I'm like, hey, check out Pokemon. He said, Pokemon's dead. He's like, Pokemon's dead to me. This design single-handedly killed a lifelong Pokemon fan that was just barely hanging on by a thread. Um, legitimately one of my new favorite Pokemon, made of gold. What does that have to do with anything? Combination of my two favorite types. Well, yeah, it's got to be competitively overtuned. Awesome ability. Rides a snowboard made of gold, which is stupid, and it's damn cool. That is not cool. That's the goofiest nonsense ever. And it also came from a complete abomination. When I first saw Gimnagool, I went, oh, this is Meltan all over again. And Meltan is one of the worst designed Pokemon ever. That is like anti-Pokemon and just the death of Pokemon designs. It's it's not going to get better from here. Gimnagool. It's a nothing, nothing nonsense. It's... It's not cool. It doesn't have an interesting or neat personality. There's no, there's nothing to its design. And then it just becomes a complete abomination. 
I also want to know how much James Turner is behind this one. I wish we had, like, the actual list of every Pokemon James Turner's designed, because it's just kind of, like, from confirmations, but we don't know everything he's had his hand in. And after being the uh, lead designer for Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, where Generation 5 was the worst design generation, and then 0.1 tiers above that was Pokemon was Generation 8. Now, Generation 9 has beat both of them. But Generation 8, also really bad as a whole. Very, very underwhelming. I'm like, oh, cool, lead design behind that. Neat. And then we don't know all the designs. Seem to have something going on with Ultra Beast. And then the classic, like, oh, I won. Like, yeah, woo, we got ice cream Pokemon that makes everyone hate Pokemon now. That's neat. And then, yeah, I would be shocked if this one wasn't your design, of course. Might legitimately be the third generation in a row where my current fave was trumped by a new generation fave. I cannot fathom how much of a creep, how much of a weirdo you have to be for this to be your favorite Pokemon. Like, maybe this design is okay to like in some abstract way, ironically, in a different franchise. Not Pokemon. It's not a Pokemon, and it is just an, such an abomination. You have to be broken. I love Golden Ghost so much, words can I even begin to describe. And now I wonder, like, who are these people? Where do they come from? Jesus. Okay. Uh, Biocheck is always interesting. And then, like, these are also the same just NPCs that think that James Turner quit. I thought he, he was designed by you, but you quit, right? He quit in May of 2022. Pokemon games are in development for at least three years. People really thought that James Turner quitting in May means that he did not work on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You're irredeemably stupid at that point. You have ingested way too much nonsense in your life, and you're just you're just weird now. You need to get offline. Like, this terminal online stuff, it, it's, it's breaking people. And we can see that how, like, oh, no, you can't hate Generation 9, when it's the worst, most divisive generation since Generation 5. We already talked about the problems as to why that's the thing. So, I am terrified of Zoomers. I am terrified of the new, new generation now, because these people are just ill. It's unwell. And then, you know, there's more I have to, like, just dislike James Turner over. We have an English-speaking person in the Pokemon company. And nothing was done about hacking. We had the bridge between the Western world, who didn't seem to influence the culture in any positive way, and just gave us garbage designs. And then, like, you look at the rest of Generation 9, it's just all ugly. It's all gross. It's all blobs and nothing. And, like, what is this? How is this? But, of course, James Turner designed it. James Turner has a lot going on. And now we get to see, like, that one, there's going to be a long tail of this. You know, the destruction of Pokemon since Generation 5. And then just things also kind of, like, you know, getting weirder from there with James Turner being the art director. And then, like, designing other Pokemon and having other influences. But, like, with James Turner gone, is there a chance for Generation 10? There can be. And be like, oh, you're just a Gen 1 or not Gen 1 or Gen 1 or because you hate everything and you don't like any of the new Pokemon. No, Generation 7 is my favorite design generation, minus the Ultra Beast. Okay, so when I was editing this video, I realized I was just kind of struggling to get my point out there as to what's going on with James Turner at Game Freak and the Pokemon designs. And that's because I've kind of already put my points elsewhere, you know, good or bad, James Turner is the Pokemon Sword and Shield art director, and also just my thoughts about the Generation 9 Pokemon being complete abominations. But the weird thing about James Turner is that when he's not destroying Pokemon, he's actually doing a pretty good job with Pokemon because the art director, how much of his influence was in the wild area for Pokemon Sword and Shield? And before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Sword and Shield was my third favorite Pokemon game. Now fourth favorite. So, like, he's done good. Pokemon Battle Revolution was my favorite Pokemon game. Or, like, kind of is for... Sp like, it's my favorite spin-off Pokemon game because it brought the Wi-Fi battling to Generation 4 and the dream of Poketopia. So, I mean, if, like, he designed Poketopia and the Pokemon world representation there, then James Turner, like... He, he, he's a Pokemon fan. So at one point, and like in one way, it gets hard to hate on the dude too much. But then in the other regard, you just kind of look at him like, but he, he did, how much of Generation 8 did he okay? How much did he ruin Generation 9 to just make the designs uncool? And that's a big problem with like modern Pokemon designs. And that's also a really big problem that's coming out of social media. People are just so weak. And pitiful these days. No one wants to strive to be anything. Identity politics is making everyone weird. We gave these people trophies for doing nothing and that just screwed them up even more. 
Far too many people are just overly sensitive and insecure, and it really feels like that's being reflected in the Pokemon designs. Nothing is cool. There is no wild west of trying to make everything fun and cool. It feels like there's almost no drive to make cool Pokemon, but that's what made Pokemon good before Generation 5. That's where you can find the good designs in Generation 6, 7, 8, and the very few in Generation 9. When a Pokemon is designed to be cool, like Ken Sugimori did way back in the day, that's when you find the most success. But then James Turner, he brings these alien designs, he brings these weird, funky, groovy things. And then I remembered the Game Informer interview with James Turner, how Pokemon's art director draws Pokemon, where he just kind of says it, you know, I haven't drawn that many kind of conventional, animal-looking Pokemon. I've drawn more alien Pokemon or ghost Pokemon and that kind of thing. He talked about how when he designed Buzzwool, you know, it has these goofy matchup poses. So you can see, like, James's influence is very, like, Zoomer-oriented in that way and doing goofy kind of designs, which is what a lot of people don't like in Pokemon. So he has his own style, and he brought a lot of influence in, and then became art director, and all the designs went to crap. But we don't have enough interviews, and we don't have, like, enough information as to how much work James Turner did every Pokemon he has designed are also just kind of finalized in that way. So that's why I can't like 100% hate him because I don't know the ambiguity as to like how much his hand is in this. And that's another thing, like if I found out everything and it's like, oh, he was really a part of these designs, then like, okay, then there's really n nothing left. But at the same time, like his art direction, his art direction outside of Pokemon designs captures the spirit of Pokemon. His Pokemon designs usually don't and like i said there's a couple of good ones out there just like weird themes that ended up being broken by just getting turnerified and now we're stuck with golden go man like it's one of those things where i have to do a top 10 worst pokemon ever video again but i'm, I'm struggling because like where do we draw the line at worst when i saw meltan i was like this is the worst thing ever meltan became my worst but then generation 9 happened and also oh pokemon legends did he design any Pokemon for Legends? Like, it seems like he was working on uh, Scarlet and Violet instead of Arceus, but I don't know the depth of his Pokemon design. And then there's this. I was our director on Pokemon Troze, Battle Revolution. Sugimori liked what I'd done. It's like, but Sugimori, there's interviews of him saying, like, I struggle with making cute Pokemon because I want to design cool things. Clefairy's my thought of a cute, but then Nishida just took Pikachu and made it the mascot because I can only, I only know how to make cool Pokemon. So that's what I mean. Like, we've lost the Sugimori. And it's been replaced with Turner. And then you can feel Pokemon dying. I've been seeing a lot of somber comments about Sugimori as well, where they're like, man, Sugimori left, or like, Sugimori isn't doing Pokemon designs anymore or something. And it's kind of weird, because like, he's the supervisor of the concept and visual studio, but doesn't have any Pokemon design credit. So we have like, you know, concept arts and stuff, and as we've seen, J James Turner kind of dabbles in that. Pokemon design, James Turner. One, Nishida's in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I mean, like, 16 people did Pokemon designs, and there's a hundred of them. So I mean, like, how many did James Turner do? Did he do, like, 10? Is it, like, every one of those ones where you go, mmm, that feels like a James Turner Pokemon? Are those his? Which of these people also kind of, like, got corrupted by James Turner and started making the bad Arceus designs and Generation 8 designs and have been, like, kind of doing the weird... And Who made Gar Garbodor? That's what I want to know. Man, doing a video on Pokemon designers is its own deep dive because, like, yeah, Nishida is goaded, dude. We have Zoroark, we got Sylveon, we have Alolan Raichu, Dratini... Evolutions, like yeah, Nishida's got it, but like, man, we don't really know a lot, so that makes things extra weird. And then like, yeah, how much of Sugimori has just been like kind of removed from Pokemon designs? Who are these new designers that are just making really bad Pokemon? And then Junichi Masuda leaves Game Freak, and becomes the creative fellow for the Pokemon Company. Like he still oversights, but I mean, he directed Pokemon Let's Go, one of the best Pokemon games ever. Second best until Scarlet and Violet, now third best. But man, the meta and competitive for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet really bringing the games down for me just off of that uh, Battle Stadium slog I've been through where it's like, yo, is it is it like Pokemon Let's Go second, Scarlet Violet third? I don't know, because like Scarlet and Violet still plays wonderfully and that open world is awesome, but man, Pokemon Let's Go makes you love Pokemon again.
So Junichi Masuda directing that. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl was just a fun game, but no competitive. And it seems like uh, Junichi Masuda kind of embraced tradition on that one. But even then, like, if Junichi Masuda directs, like, Pokemon Let's Go Johto or something, like, alright, we're just gonna have the best experience ever again, but I don't even... I don't even know anymore. So yeah, those were some of the feelings and emotions unpacked by finding out that James Turner designed one of the worst Pokemon, if not the worst Pokemon ever, on top of the worst design generation ever. And now everything is weird, but it kind of explains why, but that doesn't give me any closure. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.